Hey guys, I was thinking a little about uh, useful training tools, and it, one thing that occurred to me, and I, I'm a fan of training tools, as you might have, have uh, figured out, but um, it occurred to me just how much utility I get out of the rings, and also how cheap they were compared to a lot of the other uh, training tools that I've, I've run across. Uh, I, just the bang for the buck in rings is uh, great and you can use them if you're creative you can use them in all kinds of different ways and you just get like a set of them you can even take them uh, like I've seen people out at the park once they get really familiar with how to sort of rig them rig them up just using them for all kinds of different uh, strength purposes and all you really need is like a strong beam um, potentially a, a, a tree limb or like a lot of times at park equipment like some parallel bars or something you know, I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys just to make sure that you're being really safe about it. But um, let me show you a couple of things that I like to do with the rings. So you've got, I don't know if you guys can, can see this, you've got, you know, the, there's a little light there, but you've got a wooden ring and a really, really strong strap. And they come in pairs. And then you've got a little buckle here that you can release and then adjust the, uh, adjust the ring to where you want it. All right, so we're going, to bring these, we're going to start with the rings down. Bring the buckle down. Too. All right, trying to get them, get them even. So the, the primary reason that somebody might have rings is just to do some graduated strength training. Uh, and so I'm going to show you a couple uh, good like strength moves you guys can work on with your rings. But I think there are also like some neat martial arts things uh, that you could potentially do with them. Uh, so let's let's start with this. You can squat, and we talked about squatting yesterday. You could get back with your rings, and you get some tension on about chest level, and then you squat down, and you just kind of reach up with your arms, and that will help you work on your squat technique without uh, overloading yourself if that's a new thing for you. So squatting with the rings is good. Then you've got planking and push-ups. Uh, with the rings uh, can be pretty cool. One of the things that I like about it is that it really kind of, you know, engage the core is such like a thing that you hear nonstop, but, you know, probably for a reason, right? Um, it really just causes you to get really, really tight in, in the middle so you can be stabilized uh, when, you're using, when you're using the rings. So watch this. You could perhaps plank. Right? If a plank on the ground is really intense, you could come up here for a higher plank. You could, you could also do that on the stairs. Stairs would be easiest, then a, a ring plank would be uh, significantly tougher. Then, you know, down on the, on the floor, um, kind of working toward a good push-up, right? So you're here. Now, if you're somebody that already did, uh, does good push-ups, you could work your ring push-up. On this angle, these are, these are pretty easy, uh, but guess what? If you work that angle for a week or two, you might find that, okay, now I'm gonna come down, and when I come down to that level, now my angle for my push-up is a little deeper. One of the nice things about rings is that they allow your shoulder to move through a really natural range of motion. Um, instead of like if, if you had like a barbell that's locked in here and that causes your shoulder to lock into a range of motion that isn't uh, as natural or as easy for a lot of people to complete. And so that could lead to injury. But I think the rings, don't get me wrong, you could definitely hurt yourself on rings being, being dopey and, and doing something that is too hard for you. But that is, that is kind of an advantage that it allows you some, uh, some natural motion. Um, what else? Oh, I think one of the really cool things about rings is it allows you to do some pulling. And a, a lot of people don't have the ability to work pulling into what they do at home. Right? They think, okay, I can squat, I can push up, uh, I can get a lot of those, you know, those patterns in, but what about my pulling? A couple ways you can do that on the rings. You could get underneath, I don't know if you guys can see me, actually, those rings are way too low anyway. We gotta raise this up for a minute, here. But you could get your rings up, you know, belly level, chest level, something like that. And then you could come down and you can work 
you are kind of rowing this way, working your biceps and your back uh, that way. A um, couple of harder movements with the rings that you want to make sure that your, your strength to weight ratio is really good. Um, but ring dips are good, right? So where you, you're up here and you are working on your chest and your triceps that way. Uh, and then if you're going way up, you can certainly hit some, you can hit some chin-ups or some pull-ups on your rings long as you are careful. You know, I want to emphasize the safety thing that the, the instability of the rings is, is part of the challenge. And so you want to approach something like this really, really gradually, you know, starting with like barely any incline at all and just see if you can control that. And then, you know, you can measure where that is and go down a real tiny bit at a time. Um, but I like how compact that is, right? Like you could just, you could easily throw that in a in a backpack or some luggage or something to probably find a place to hook them up. Um, okay, so martial arts rings idea. I was, Juliet made this up this morning actually, this one of these things I'm going to show you. But I like, uh, I like punching, you know, if you get the straps out of the way, you can punch through the rings, right? So if I'm doing a little footwork, shadow box, poosh, poosh, right and kind of moving around it and the rings you can even kind of move the rings so that uh, you know if that ring is moving and I have to sort of time my punch through careful because you can you know you bang your knuckles on there that wouldn't feel real great um, but Juliet was uh, saying that hey it's even fun to kind of box the straps a little bit I don't know if you guys can see that but you know those straps will kind of swing and move and a lot of people just don't have anything at all to aim for um, that, that just kind of like hangs conveniently in front of them. But there you go, you can punch through, you can hit the, the strap, maybe find some sort of kicking thing to do, although don't get your legs stuck in there. I think you'd be sad if, if that happened. Um, and then you can definitely, uh, like with this, with this set, you can, I'm gonna have to set you guys down again. Like with this set, you can fold up that strap and then go above the buckle and then there's a little velcro piece and then that just wraps I pull that up and then I don't have that strap in my face so you can obviously you could do that on on both sides there all right so to review what can you do on the rings you could um, you can squat take some weight off of it work on the technique you can plank and push up at varying and in gradual uh, incline to gradually get strong. Uh, you could do harder stuff, right? You could do dips and, and chins and pull-ups. Uh, and then you could even, just because it's a hanging thing that doesn't need you to hold it up, you know, you could probably work that for some accuracy work uh, with your shadow boxing. All right, cool. The rings.